Hello Virgo, trust your intuition for guiding you to this first quarter moon in Taurus reading. So this is covering January 28th through the 31st and first quarter moons come in between a new moon and a full moon. So it's a waxing moon, meaning we're increasing the energy, we're revving up the tempo, getting more towards a full moon and then um, Taurus energy is all about feeling good, smelling good, looking good. It's all about value. So. As a collective, we're being pulled by the moon to increase our value. So this could be in terms of looks, like getting a glow up, a makeover. This could be rebranding a business. This could be the energy of losing weight. This could be a lot of different things, you know, your bank account looking better. So we're definitely getting a glow up with this moon, but let's see how this translates into your love life, Virgo. So we're gonna start with the Price of Love Oracle. And we are manifesting clarity for Virgo. Clearly let Virgo know what's going on in their love life for the first quarter moon in Taurus. What's happening for Virgo? What is the energy coming towards Virgo for the first quarter moon in Taurus? What's the energy and love coming towards Virgo? And obviously, I don't know if I even said it, this is a love reading. <laughs> What's going on for Virgo? So we have synchronicity, 44 coming through with a feather. Let's get a little bit more for Virgo. What's happening with this first quarter moon? Quality time, number 12. And let's get one more for Virgo. There seems to be a lot about divine timing with synchronicity and quality time and know your worth. This does make me think of Virgo energy, safe deposit apartment, myself and I, you know, Beyonce sings me, myself and I, and she is queen Virgo. So we have value priceless, know your worth. So Virgo, what I'm getting in your love energy is that there is something coming in in divine timing with synchronicity and quality time. I do think it's like you and someone else your energies are gonna collide and you're gonna spend a lot of quality time together. <laughs> Even staring at me at the bottom, they're telling me to take it out, so I will, is passion. So that could be the kind of quality time that's coming through, you know, a lot of love making going on with somebody. So if you're already involved with somebody, I do see that happening for you. Lots of love making. Doesn't necessarily have to be like sex, but just more intimate moments between the two of you. But I do feel like for you single Virgos, you even have sparks at the bottom. Something's about to pop up with synchronicity. I feel like you spend a lot of quality time solo doloing, solo doloing if I could talk. Um, it's almost like you spent time um, in your singlehood, working on yourself, thriving, working on your own energy. And I feel like because you've spent the time to do that, you now know your worth. So you're just kind of waiting for Mr. Right or Mrs. Right to come in. So give me more for Virgo. What does Virgo need to see for the first quarter moon in Taurus? Tell me more about this energy, clear energy. And they're telling me to point out the number. So we have 9, 1, 44, breaks down to an 8. And a 1 plus 2, 12, breaking down to a 3. We have friends. The most unlikely friendships can form. Like variegated lichens on hard rock, they create a tight bond. I'm definitely getting something with a tight bond, clearly. With that passion energy, yeah, I feel like there's some sex coming towards you, Virgo. I just gotta be real with you. Even with synchronicity, it's like a, a sync, right? A sync with time. So it's like you and someone are syncing in a way. If it's not straight up sex, it's like you're gonna meet someone or get very friendly with someone. Or even maybe that energy is just gonna come through. Flip it over, I'm hearing. All right, give me more for Virgo. Virgo's love life for the first quarter moon in Taurus. What's happening? So we have the three of swords in reverse. It looks like someone's getting out of a heartache or a heartbreak. That's Libra energy. The fool. Aquarius energy. I just saw 444 as I said the fool. I feel like someone was acting a fool. Maybe 
they played themselves is kind of the energy I'm getting. I get so many Beyonce songs with you. I don't know. Queen Virgo energy. Don't hurt yourself, right? Like, that's the whole energy of that song. You play me, you play yourself. So there's someone wanting a new opportunity after being heartbroken. And I don't know if this is related to you in particular. I mean, this reading is on you, Virgo. Everything is fine. This person is down in the dumps. I feel like they're trying to get out of that energy, but you can see it on this card. This is like the 10 of swords. She's impaled by all of these swords being stabbed to death, dying, laying here, bleeding out, but she's still looking at her phone like, does he still care? So I feel like someone's kind of waiting for you to reach out, Virgo, but you're you're not biting is what I'm getting. They want a new opportunity, but they know that it would be for naught. Like it's just almost pointless is what I'm getting. But we still have this Ace of Pentacles energy, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn energy, and the Ace of Swords. So it seems like someone, it's almost like they someone really wants a new opportunity or the universe is going to implant some divine timing in your life or this person's life to get this off the ground running. The Ace of Pentacles is more of a long-term thing. And this could relate to work. Maybe you're going to meet this person through your job, their job. Both your jobs might intertwine. Then we have the Ace of Swords, which is kind of a more rapid, impulsive decision. So Virgo, I feel like there's this energy coming through where um, either you had, I don't know, something with someone that did not work out, or this person is dealing with some heartache, heartbreak from the past, wanting to move on from it. I feel like this is directly related to you though. So give me a little bit more about this for Virgo. Tell me what Virgo needs to see for the first quarter moon in Taurus for their love life. Base chakra. They're telling me to take out from the bottom. The waiting game, one and two. So base chakra is very primal, very carnal energy. So I'm not surprised to see that with passion. This is our activity chakra or our action chakra. So this is, you know, it's our roots. It's kind of like our legs, our feet, what allows us to move and get going, action-based. So this person wants some action, but there's definitely something with time in here. The waiting game, quality time, synchronicity. It's almost like surrendering to the universe and allowing the universe to bring this person back around. I feel like this person's kind of coming back around on this card. So Virgo, yeah, there's definitely an energy in here where somebody... I feel it's almost like it's a matter of time before they come back around, but at the same time, it's like they definitely want to move towards you. It's no question this person wants to get closer to you, but at the same time, I mean, this could be related to the friend zone too with friends coming out. I feel like this person has definitely got the hots for you, Virgo. Give me more. Confusion. Yeah, this definitely could be someone stuck in the friend zone. This could be someone that you gave the cold shoulder to. You're like, I'm not going to put up with this bullshit anymore. You're not going to break my heart anymore. And... This person didn't really know what to do after you left. That could be the energy. This For some of you, it's someone getting out of the friend zone, not really knowing how to navigate that. Um, but I definitely get something with things are happening in divine timing. It's almost like there's a scramble. And so um, both parties need to surrender. You and this other person, right? Like you went through something. It was like really crazy, a lot of passion. But then it seems like there was a breakup and... It's a matter of time before they come back around, but there's still like this kind of scramble energy. And I feel like in order to kind of like get that cleared up, it's all about surrendering and we have open up. So I feel like you close the door to somebody. Yeah. All right. Let's get something through the charms for a Virgo. What does Virgo need to see through the charms? Clear energy. Of course, we have Scorpio energy coming out. So that's kind of coming out off of everything is fine, which is like Gemini energy, because this is like the Ten of Swords. So this is all about resurrections, endings and beginnings. So someone definitely wants to resurrect something with you, Virgo. Definitely getting a past person who you had like this big, crazy energy with. But then it's like someone got heartbroken. But this person, and I feel like, I don't know, I feel like this was a while ago, because it doesn't seem like a fresh heartache, but it seems like a past heartache. So give me a little bit more for Virgo. What does Virgo need to see? So we have Pluto, again, resurrection energy because Pluto rules over Scorpio. Pluto and Cancer. Cancer is the nurturer, the mother. So this is someone wanting to resurrect something that they feel like is worthy of being nurtured. 
in the 12th house so this person is not in your physical reality yet the 12th house is all about the ethereal the spiritual that which you can't see so there's something going on in the ethers um, that this person really wants to resurrect nurture they've been thinking about it um, but they haven't told you that yet but I do feel like they're coming around in divine timing so that's something to be noted it's in divine timing not on your timetable not on theirs on the universes truly so i hope this resonated virgo if you're interested in a reading head on over to my etsy the link is in the description otherwise i do have my website up but it's kind of sort of undergoing you know reconstruction so yeah that's also an option but yeah if you want a personal reading head on over to either of those options and i will definitely catch you in the next waxing gibbous reading virgo